Hey, good evening, everybody. I'm Luke Litton with your Look at Sports. That was just one of many crazy finishes to the night. But first, we start with the UTEP Miners, a moment for fans and players alike to pay tribute to one of the greatest college basketball teams in NCAA history. Today, Mark, the team, today the team celebrated the 50th anniversary of the 1966 Texas Western team clinching the national title. Let's now go ahead and send it to ABC7 Sports Director Danny Mata, who was at the game all afternoon. And Danny, quite the sight to see that historic team in person, huh? Uh, yeah, Luke, it really was an emotional game for the Miners, and really was one they needed. They came in just 4-6 and six in conference play, and quite frankly, you can't lose today. I mean, right? It's the 50th anniversary game. Well, let's go to the Don Haskins Center, and there is the team at center court. Tim Floyd there with Mary Haskins early on. Irvin Morris on the break with the big-time jam. And the Miners hanging around early, but Western Kentucky did not like being treated like the homecoming team. They came to play off the miss. Frederick Edmond comes back with a bucket and the foul. Western Kentucky leads by nine at the break. Second half, it gets worse. Edmond, this time from beyond the arc, Miners would trail by as many as 19 points. But then Lee Moore and the rest of the team decided, all right, that's about enough of this nonsense. Moore for three, money. And then Moore, well, he wasn't done. Scoreless at the half. 23 in the second half, another three here. Miners down 11, then here, major turning point. Moore with the steal, ahead to Irvin Morris who opens up the can of slam. Miners down four, less than 30 seconds left. Moore, inside, layup, and one. His free throw ties it and we go to overtime. In overtime, Omega Harris gets the steal, ahead to Dominic Artis. Back to Urban Morris for the two-hand stuff. Miners by three. Then Moore strikes again. Look at him draw the contact. It hits a tough shot with a friendly roll. And now it's Morris's turn. Into the paint with a turnaround. And that just about does it. 50 years ago, it was Bobby Joe Hill with back-to-back -back steals to beat Kentucky. Here, Dominic Artis with the steal. The Miners chase it down, and that will do it. UTEP with a gutsy, emotional rally. The Miners win 93-89 to in overtime. And then I think these kids, more importantly, which is what it's all about, are going to remember this game for the rest of their lives and remember why it was important and tell their kids why it was important. I not not trying to be selfish or anything, but I you know we got the steal and I got the, the first dunk when I, I tipped it back. Lee got it, Lee gave it back to me and I dunked it. I really felt like I, that that was the turning point for me personally. But I, I felt I, the whole game, I really felt like we had a chance. We was going to always come back and get the game. Man, I, I really can't really put it into words. Just everything they did yesterday and with the banquet and, and, and it really let us know the meaning of it. Um, uh, it was, it's real special. It was a real surreal moment. So, Luke, an extraordinary game. I think a lot of people thought that game might be over when the Miners were down by 19, but an emotional rally. You could see the 1966 team talking to Tim Floyd and what it meant to him. And he said earlier this week, it might be the final time that they're all together. So truly a remarkable game, and this will definitely be one to, re to remember. The celebration continues in El Paso at the Haskins Center. There's our halftime score. Western Kentucky with a nine-point lead. Mark Embert, the president of the NCAA, was here as well to introduce the members of that 1966 national championship team that vanquished the Kentucky Wildcats. There was also a very special message from a very big basketball fan as well, and that was presented here at the stadium just a few moments ago. By becoming the first team to win an NCAA title with five black starters, the Miners weren't just champs on the court. They helped change the rules of the game off it. They didn't know it at the time, but their contribution to civil rights was as important as any other. Our progress demands not only Dr. King's, but Jackie Robinson's. Not only Rosa Parks, but Aretha Franklin's. Not only household names, but ordinary Americans doing their part in their own lives with their own example. That's what we honor today. A group of Americans who laced up their shoes and moved our country forward. That and a pretty good basketball team. Congratulations on this anniversary, and go Miners. Mike, I was a year old when that team won the <laughs> national championship. You were in college. Could you have imagined at the time the impact 